So here's the power from the solar. This will vary. I've seen it up to 30 watts. And during all of this, I never see the PV voltage. It just stays at the battery voltage, or 26 in this case. I'm assuming that's because of the battery voltage. So I'll get some power. I also never see the connection line from the icon for the array to the loads or the battery. I've, I haven't seen that come on during all of this. It, it used to when I first got the unit. Battery's 26.5. One interesting thing I did find is that if I were to measure, oh, there's a click. So PV122, no line connecting, and then the relay clicks off, and it drops back down. And during the time when the relay comes on, it never seems to charge. That's uh, watching my, my BMS app. When the voltage goes up on the PV, that's when the charging stops. Um, measuring the battery voltage here, if I can do that, this might be hard. I see 27.2, while the unit is reading, um, sorry, 26.6. I find that interesting. I don't know what that means. Here's my battery, I, it's probably an embarrassment. Oh, clicked again. PV zero watts. Clicks off. Let's see if that goes back up. Charging came back on. Uh, it is kind of cloudy right now, but anyway, battery here. This is an 8 cell, 280 amp hour, a lithium iron phosphate cells. I'm using a Jabita BMS. This is to go to the grid, but it's unplugged right now. I probably should do something about that. We're outside. I have this apart because I thought there might be moisture in here. There was. There was moisture. So this is the circuit breaker I'm using. Um, I've measured the voltage here. When it's not connected to the unit, or when I had the unit off, and it reads high, like the VOC, the open circuit voltage of the panels. And then I do read 26 or 27 once I'm connected and the unit is on. So that voltage behavior is also taking place here. So I, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's where I'm at now. Here's the panels. They are in partial shade, but even in the evening when the sun is this way, I do not get more than 250 watts out of these. Each one of these is 395. So here's the kind of connector I'm using. And they are in series. So yeah, any help would be appreciated. Here's the software versions of the inverter. I've never tried to update it or even looked into it. It's just what it shipped with. I'll go ahead and just show all these screens, I guess. I have a refrigerator running off of this right now, so that's what load I do have connected. There you go, now we're reading 27. Might as well. Measure. Might as well fumble around and see what we get. Oh, oh my gosh, that's charging came back on. So there's a good video of the behavior. Now the voltages are matching on my multimeter and screen. Weird, I don't know what happened earlier.
Oop. Charging stopped. That's what I would expect to see for the PV array voltage. I hear the relay, relay click again, charging comes back, drops back down. So, what is happening? <laughs>